Hey everybody, welcome back to the couch. I'm Melissa. <laughs> okay, everybody, get your sillies out, get your wiggles out, get your giggles out. Ready? Hey everybody, welcome back to the couch. I'm Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. On my channel, you'll find tips and tricks to help moms to get off the couch and into life. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you three things that moms should stop doing when they have little babies at home. All right, I'm not even gonna keep you waiting. I'm gonna tell you three things that we as moms do and probably do way too often that we should probably stop doing. Real quick, right off the bat, number one, you should stop holding your baby. <laughs> stop holding your baby. I know it sounds weird, but I'll explain it later. Number two, you should stop letting them wear socks and mittens. And number three, you should stop rescuing your baby so often. Sounds weird, right? I know that hearing that list right off the bat sounds pretty strange because these are things that you definitely want to do, but we should stop doing them as often as we do them. And I'm going to give you a reason why. Let's start with number one. The first thing I talked about was stop holding your baby. Now I don't mean it in the way that people say, don't hold your baby so much you're gonna spoil them. I think that's ridiculous, you can't spoil a baby. But you should often put your baby down and allow them to do things like tummy time, allow them to explore the atmosphere around them, let them get to feel what the floor feels like, let them know what the couch feels like, let them know different surfaces so that they can develop. I understand that the cuddly baby is something that you just wanna hold forever. I know, I know. I understand that your baby is going to just give you all of the feels and you're gonna wanna cuddle and hold that baby till forevermore, I get it. And especially because the time does go by really, really fast and you wanna kinda hold on to the moments when they're so small and want to be cuddled. But in order to help your baby to develop and to grow, it is important that we don't hold them as often. You wanna put them down so that they can get to know their surroundings and get to know the environment around them. The second thing on my list is one of those things that I laugh about because I feel that my mom thinks <laughs> that my kids are always naked. And she will often tell me, put a hat on that baby, put socks on the, you know, sis it'd be, it'd be cool. <laughs> like she will go off about dressing the baby. I think she feels that if my babies are in winter clothes, right throughout the year, even inside the house, that that is like the only way to truly protect and truly make sure that the babies are okay. I get it that when the hats are needed, when the mitts are needed, when the socks are needed, they should be worn. But over using these items, particularly the socks and the mitts, can really delay the development of your baby. The baby gets to learn their surroundings with their hands and with their feet. So if you're always covering up their hands and their feet, you're gonna delay their development and delay how quickly they'll pick up on certain things and how quickly they'll learn their environment. I'm not promoting that you should cause your baby to grow up too fast or to learn their surroundings too quickly, but the overuse of socks and mittens can really delay their development. You wanna make sure that they get to know where they are, get to feel around, get to see the world from their hands and their feet. I know that as adults, we use all five senses and we know how to ebb and flow through them, but as a newborn baby, you're just learning. So discovering things with your hands is a brand new thing. Discovering things with your toes, being able to feel around with your feet, is so brand new and they need to do those things in order to learn in order to grow and in order to develop the last thing on the list is don't protect your baby so often don't rescue them so often and I know that that sounds totally controversial and it almost sounds crazy because if your baby is in danger, obviously you're going to rescue them. That is your motherly instinct to just dive in. And that's not what I'm talking about. Of course, if there's imminent danger, you wanna do everything that you can to protect your baby, but sometimes you should allow them to struggle a little bit so that they can learn and develop. For example, if they're playing with a toy and can't quite figure out how to get it on and get it off, don't rescue them right away. Allow them a little bit of an opportunity to figure it out. And it is remarkable how often your child will figure it out. I'm not talking about those times when your baby is in danger or your baby is obviously very frustrated and on the brink of tears or getting hurt. I mean, if something is frustrating to your baby, if they're learning something new and they can't quite get it the very, very first time around, you wanna give them some time 
to work it out on their own. It is amazing how young they learn fine motor skills and how young they learn how to do things on their own. We don't want to completely write ourselves out of the picture and, you know, take away our role as mom to rescue and help and allow the baby their space to achieve certain things. But you do want to take the necessary time to allow that baby to figure things out on their own. Of course, if the baby is in danger or they're about to get hurt or whatever the case is, you need to jump in and you need to jump in right away. But if you're in a controlled environment and your child is learning something new for the very first time, don't rush in, allow the kid to figure it out. It is so crucial for the learning and the development of your baby to allow them to figure things out on their own. Those are the three things I see it all the time where mom is just holding that baby till forever more and it takes them a long time to learn to sit up it takes them a long time to learn how to you know prop themselves up on their own and do things like that because mom is forever holding that baby so i hope this video helps until next time here are some really cool couch mom club videos for you to enjoy and don't forget to join the club go ahead and click that button that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss an upload. Follow me on all your favorite social media accounts and don't forget to check out the merch. The links will be in the description right below that like button. And now it's time to get off the couch and into life.